guys welcome today to this youtube channel and guys i'm discussing uh your relative's child who comes to stay with you then you overwork that child to death and this is not a small child this is a girl that has a uh, has done her her secondary education high school education and uh, is through with it but now the mother who is your sister approaches you that she may come and stay with you in town because you are the one who lives in the city she may come and stay with you as she, as uh, she goes to college so you are housing this girl uh, as she looks for the school and starts uh, going to college and guys <laughs> she has now come to stay with you let me tell you this lady tells me that uh, this girl is being uh, overworked you know what happens um, guys please like and subscribe to this channel and let us walk this journey together let's grow this channel where we discuss issues of life this is an issue of life where your child your, your niece comes to stay with you and you give her all the donkey work in your house this is before she goes to school. She wake up. She wakes up in the morning, cleans the whole house. While you people are still sleeping, you and your family, you are still sleeping. You'll hear her scrubbing at five thirty in the morning, scrubbing, scrubbing, and uh, washing everywhere. Then um, she goes to the kitchen and does the dishes. You know, in Kenya, most of the homesteads we do our dishes by hand. She goes and dash, does the dishes and uh, after that, she's there outside washing the cars. This is now what surprised me, guys. You have your own child. Would you want your child to, to, to be treated like that by your sister? Ah, imagine you also have a daughter. You may have a daughter, yes. You may also have a son. And they may require to go and maybe work or school. Uh, somewhere far from your, your your locality then you request your sister please stay with my son please stay with my daughter as she tries and gets a job or as she tries and gets a college and there you hear that your child is being overworked washing cars in the morning three cars in the compound washing them having done the house scrubbing washing utensils doing sweeping feeding the dogs <gasps> my god you you overwork this child like she's she's a uh, uh, overless her god anyway so i uh, had to discuss this in this channel because uh, guys there are some things you don't do to somebody they do unto others what you do want done unto you surely this is a grown girl is having gone up to form four and now is uh, uh, did not go to the university. I uh, chose to go to a, a community college. So are you going to leave this ch ch uh, niece of yours to do all the donkey work in your house while you sleep and wake up and find breakfast? The table is already set. So what happened is uh, this lady, uh, why I knew about this story is because uh, one of the days she woke up and found the table, the table is not yet set for breakfast. And she started screaming everywhere. Why is the why is breakfast not made in this house? You, how do I pro provide for breakfast in a house and then it is not put on table for me before I come downstairs? And she's like, are you people are buying new food in this house. I'm making sure that you are fed. I'm making sure that uh, you you don't lack anything. You have all the foods you want. And here you live, you live. Um, you leave me without breakfast. Uh, uh, with, uh, you don't set the table before I come downstairs. And you know, that time that she was asking that, uh, the girl was now finishing on the third car. Having done the scrubbing of the house, having uh, done uh, the utensils, having fed the dogs, and now the chicken. And now she's out there washing your cars so that she can give you time to wake up and before she she uh, before you people wake up she have come to do the, the to set the breakfast table so here you come <laughs> there's no breakfast in this house why is the table not set and you're like she's the only one who's out there. in fact you are grown daughters 
your grown daughters grown bigger than her are still in their bedrooms doing their makeup <sighs> hey no i had to discuss this subject guys it is inhuman it is inhuman to just do that to somebody else's child and this is your niece this is your sister's child not a child like a big girl yes but a child here you mistreat her you misuse her when your daughters are in their bedroom with their uh, mirrors doing uh, doing their makeup and they all come downstairs and sit at the table to eat and drink simply because you have accommodated her guys this is not right this is uh, you're going to, to get yourself a curse from god it is not right and one day you're going to regret what you did to somebody's child it is very unfortunate so this lady makes a lot of noise and the lady is, the, the girl is like, Auntie, I was just coming to place the, I was just finishing on the third car, uh, washing and then I come and, and you remember, this girl will, after, soon after that, go to school, go to class. So you can imagine the amount of work she has done in the house from 5 in the morning, 5 a.m. Up to this time that this lady is waking up at, at 8 and then, after that, this girl is going to take her tea while studying up, not even sitting at the dining table. Studying up because she's too much, she's in a hurry not to also get ready for class. She's taking tea, just tea and a slice of bread. After doing all that work, that's all she's going to eat while leaving that house. And you know what? <clears throat> she goes, spends a hungry day because you know the mother is not very well to do. So she doesn't have money for lunch, at least for supper. She has to eat here at the auntie's place. Breakfast, she can take that tea with a slice of bread, just one. And then after that, she has to leave and go to class. So this girl is so slender, so slender. But the amount of work she's, she's doing, ah, too much work. Too much work. So um, she takes her tea and she, she hurries out. Now, it happens that uh, the auntie is sometimes driving out and on the way to town also when when, when uh, not every day but it happened that this when this issue was brought to me it happened that this auntie happened to have been driving out to, to town and this girl is walking to the to the bus stop walking to the bus stop so past the gate she fights she reaches uh, the girl and she's like see you are going to get late you are still walking so slowly and you are going to get late to work. And, and the girl is like, Auntie, I'm going to catch a matatu. And she drives off. Did not give a lift to this girl. Yet she was going to town. Guys, you may think this is just a story. This is what happens. And this is what happened. This is, this is a true story. That somebody was that inhuman to this child. And um, guys, uh, that's why I had to come and discuss this. Yeah, subject here drop down in the comment section and tell me if you have ever met other people who are like her who are not supposed to be called the word the name human beings they deserve another name have you ever met them have you ever heard of them what blessings are you going to uh, <coughs> to get from god when you mistreat people this way are you going to be blessed guys i don't think so I don't think so. It is simply because your sister doesn't have enough, is not in town, is not living in the city, that uh, she cannot stay with her own child. And let me also ask you, when this girl uh, is through with college and then she goes and gets a job, you know God is a God of miracles. She can go and get a job soon after college. And, and one time, because you people are still family, one time, you know, in this life of the living, oh gosh, in this life of the living, things can happen. This girl can one time go and get a job and one time you meet in the village or you meet in a family function where she's having a job, she has her own car, she has her own life, she has... What shame would befall you? Because God is a God who blesses and God can bless this one that you tormented one time. Yes, she may be this young girl today without a job and with nothing and trying to look for just a roof on top of her head in order that she goes to college. But let me tell you, one time, God may bless her, she finishes, she gets a job, she gets a man to marry her, or not even a man, but she lives her life in the way, the way a human being is supposed to live. 
Then a function comes up and you meet in the village or at the venue of the function. What would you say? How ashamed would you be? Please treat somebody well because you don't know their tomorrow. Like and subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.